Okay, inspired by a little conversation I had with someone at Green Man, um, we spent today, or this afternoon, um, building a big voltmeter out of uh, an old piece of IKEA packaging. Uh, it's got an Arduino on board using the analog inputs, a uh, potential divider, which in theory means that this can measure up to 20 volts, but that can be changed. Uh, a little servo from an uh, aircraft, uh, yeah, radio controlled plane, boat, whatever. Um, so I've got it rigged up. Now, as I said, this should be able to measure voltages up from 0 to 20 volts, but I've, I've written a piece of software that only responds to voltages between 9 and 17, and I've calibrated the, the, the display accordingly. You could make it any voltage, any voltage you want. So you can see currently we're giving it 6 volts. Now, that is just down the bottom of the scale, so if we up the voltage just to 9 volts, you should just see the meter starting to move. I can change that in increments of 0.1 of a volt from this dodgy old power supply. It's not the most stable power supply in the world, but you get the idea. Uh, if we crank the voltage back down to uh, that and then increase it by 10 volts, you can see it, it come right up. We can change it then by 1 volt at a time. If we have a look at the meter, meter saying 13 volts, we've pretty much, we're pretty much on 13 volts there. Again, I can do that in 0.1 of a volt increments. It's quite accurate. 14 volts, 15, 16, and that's bang on 16 volts there. Uh, once again, it's, it responds fairly quickly, but I've got there's a bit of a delay programmed in at the moment because it's sampling multiple times just for some accuracy. That can be uh, made even more accurate actually with, uh, if, if there's a circuit designed to specifically do that. Obviously, because this is using standard servos, this bit of code means it's infinitely scalable. You could make a, a, a meter. 50 feet across if you really wanted to with this and it would be a fairly straightforward reliable thing to do. Uh, you could also have indicator lights on when it reaches certain voltages, certain thresholds, alarms, all that kind of thing. So I think that's it. Very successful afternoon's project in useful use of some old IKEA packaging and um, bits of cardboard we had lying around.